So here we have a spread axle. Now, when you have a spread axle, this is basically how I believe it works. Now, I, I haven't driven a spread axle, but I have driven uh, a four axle, which I would nearly consider the exact same thing when it comes to how they turn. Now, I like to basically always, it's, 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 it's the very center. Like this is the point where I have the main dragging point, okay? And uh, so I will always try to look in between here. All right, so it, when I was driving the four axles, I would look in between axle number two and three. Okay, so same thing again. Now we do have a we do we do have a slight swing, but not as much as uh, we would if the axles were all the way to forward. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn to the right, and maybe we can even turn to the left here. Okay, so again, there's so many different setups as long as you get it into the space. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get my steers pointing straight. Now it's going to start slowly jackknifing because we're already at an angle. And I'm going to start turning. Now I'm going to do a really hard jackknife here in just a second, roughly around here. Let's go ahead and zoom in, make sure I'm not hitting it. Okay, so you can't hold it for too long because you remember you've got to deal with the wall. All right, so let's go ahead and straighten up my steers around here and back into reverse. Okay, so it looks like we're getting around it. Now I'm going to start chasing it. All right, again. The closer you are to this truck, the further away you are from over here. All right, looking good. Oh, so now I, I, I can see that my back of the trailer is getting too far into the space. So that's kind of scaring me. All right, so it's either I get out and look or I get into a harder jackknife. So, and when you do get into a harder jackknife, chances are you end up aiming towards this truck here. All right, and that looks good to me. And all I have to do now is do a pull forward, and I should be straight. At least be able to see in both mirrors, see what is going on. All right, so let's get back to the straight back. Turn it to the left, get my front of the trailer to the left. And voila. Now this is another uh, spread axle back, but the axles are forward. Now I've seen a lot of this down in Southern California uh, where Costco's have a tendency, they, they do this. Now, the pivot point on the trailer is here, okay? Uh, it's just, it's always in between the axles, all right? So there will be a lot of a swing, all right? So uh, a lot of the time in the tighter spaces, this is what, this is this is how they do it. So basically, we want to turn uh, with this amount of space, okay? That's around, it's around, it's around here, okay? Yeah, let's go ahead and just crank it to the right. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we, again, we watch out for the swing. Now I'm gonna turn to the left slowly. I'm just kind of slowly guiding it. I would definitely wanna get my trailer here. I got it straight back going, but I wanna definitely finish off angled. Now, if you find yourself where your trailer is point, is like basically th that red line, or if you're looking down the side of your trailer and you're angled this way, you're not going to be able to get it in because you'll end up the swing of the trailer will end up hitting this guy over here. So you always want to leave some space. So you know what? I'm still not happy with that. I'm just going to the more room you give yourself over here to the left, the more you can maneuver it. Okay. So let's get my steers straight. It's going to start jackknifing immediately. All right. And if, if I want to jackknife more, I can. I'm just going to leave it do what it's doing right now. Okay. Actually, it's. I don't have to do anything. I just think I think it's, it's it's everything is fine. Now we would definitely get out and look around here. Okay. Now I should probably could be closer to. The, I, I I probably should be closer actually, but I do believe my the back of my trailer is going to start swinging in this direction here. Looking good. Now I'm going to start chasing it. Now again, watching, always looking to the right. Every time you t you turn to the left, make it a habit that you turn. To your head to the right just to see what, what's going on. All right, so we're getting pretty close to everything over here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and straighten up, all right, in the shortest distance. Obviously, we're not going to be able to straight, but we will definitely create a more of an angle here. So pull forward and stop. Okay, let's crank it all the way to the left. And it's looking good. We're getting we're a little bit close to the guy in the left, but it's better to be close to the guy in the left than the guy in the right. All right, so I'm just going to do a straight back, and then when my truck gets closer 
to the center here. I'm going to turn to the right. Oh, it's actually already doing that right now. I can see both mirrors. Turn to the right. Back to the left. And I think we're okay with that. You know, let's say we want to get center. Okay. I'm not quite happy with that. I shouldn't say I was happy with that. We need to go to the right. So again, you can either turn. I wouldn't turn all the way to the right. All right. But if you did, don't go that far because remember the swing. All right. So you can go, you can pull forward. All right. But immediately go back to the left. Then straighten up. All right. Now we're pointing to the right. We're driving dead straight, but the more we, we go forward, the more our truck shifts to the right because we're we're heading in that direction. All right. And then before the wall, we will turn to the left. And then back to the right. And we are more centered now. Okay. So let's go ahead and reverse. I'm going to go ahead and just turn a little bit to the left because I want, I, I, I'm not 100% happy, but I will be by the, by the time I'm backed up. There we go. Small maneuvers. All right, this, that is spread axles. A lot of people have been requesting that. So here you go.